Parliament House here when we had um, protests before and it was it's just so important to let the government know what we're doing and what we feel. Congratulations for such a fabulous turnout. Well done, give yourself yet another cheer. And, and look, you might ask, why is the Premier being so, so stingy? He's all his money! And the reason is, the gentleman at the back there, congratulations, he's trying to save all the money, so now, because he's two years out from an election, he thinks he can force the public of Western Australia to endure some pain now, and in two years' time at the election, he'll start spending the money and you will all have forgotten and you'll all vote him back into office. On top of the wages offer, on top of the fees and charges, he's got another plan for hospitals. He wants to replace you all with private contractors employed by private companies running our public hospitals. As you may know, uh, the, your union has been through the Arbitration Commission with lots of other groups working for government. I think there's about three or four, is it Dave, that have been agreed, been agreed already? No. All right, one through arbitration, I thought it was more than that. But the next term of government, uh, we appoint... that I made to you personally, Dave, about the next term of government was that if we were going to change for those hospitals, when we would go to the next election, clearly stating that position. Now, that is not my position. I don't agree with doing that. If, if we were going to do that, we would go to the election announcing that and the people could make their decision. I don't support that. Thank you for supporting your union. Very important to support your union. Your union supports you. The second thing I want to say is that the government's wages policy is a complete mess and it's an unfair mess. Why is it a mess? It's not applied fairly and equally. So I'd just like to ask you, is it fair that Colin Barnett gets $13,000 a year pay rise, government health workers are offered $27 a week? to agree to sign our own jobs away to get the $27 a week. Colin Barnett. Me and Kim and Colin have got plans for all your jobs. The best thing that they can do is sell them off. The thing I can do is infect all of your workplaces. Definitely they'll destroy it even worse because right now we are still cut down to the bone. When we went back in house we got no extra staff and it would probably end up destroying Bentley House Service if they got hold of us again. 
and what they're asking us to put up with 72 cents an hour it's a slap how far do they want to keep slapping us around before we've got to fight back